what's up people this is dance graphics welcome back to our channel in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create this simple yet catchy birthday flyer design with the help of just your pixel lab application if you want to get all the resources we'll use for this video kindly follow the tutorial carefully and make sure to watch it completely because i will share with you the resources and fonts that i've used for this particular tutorial this is because some of you keep asking me for the fonts and images that i use often right so make sure to follow the video carefully that said if you are joining us for the first time smash the subscribe button turn on notification and don't forget to drop a comment telling us where you are watching from so i can send you a shout out in our next video without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into the video so i'm basically going to begin from afresh and we're using just a simple square size default size so i'm going to delete this default text anyways and i proceed to change my background now in order to change your background you can import the image here or you just click on background here so the thing i'm going to do is just to click here on my background so once i click on background i will click on from gallery now from gallery will allow you to source through and see okay so we have here this curvy paper background so i'm going, just going to bring it in click on the check mark now you want to click here to bring in another background layer so now go to import and um, on import we are going to make use of this so we have this and what i'm going to do is to use uh, a three by four aspect ratio by the way so you know crop this out so I have this All right now just size this up neatly to make sure that it fits into your design somehow just place it like so and log it up for now so after achieving this go back to shapes select a simple uh you know square shape make it a rectangle all right so i'm going to make it a tiny rectangle anyways just position it here okay for now let's uh still bring this shape to the right a bit again so we have this now we're going to do some color manipulation here so go to color on this shape and click on this um, gradient so we're going to pick the color from the background click on the plus button and let's start with this thick or this dark or this uh heavy color so click here all right then you click here on this tiny button so let's go here and here then you click on this pen icon on this color picker sorry color picker now select the layer that has the background and um, for the start we're just going to choose this um, this brown color all right as you can see the color monitor indicating now click on your check mark so i have this for now click ok then it's kind of a brown so go back to this light one now click here and also click here Good. if you are following the video drop a thumbs up and like the video as well now we're going to repeat the same procedure click on the pen icon or on the color picker sorry then you pick this orange so we're going to pick uh, this kind of some sort of this orange color here so we can pick the brighter one let's check and you have this all right so this is what we have basically i'm going to click on ok can you see that good now we are going to reduce this shape a bit let's try to reduce this a bit all right now we're going to bring in the image so import and i have this image with me here use three by four for cropping then you bring it here like so now first things first we're going to reduce it try to reduce it so let's reduce it okay good now go to your uh, color filters i'm going to give this image black and white 
so reduce saturation completely to zero all right can you see that let's check something here in relative position try to position it on the middle by using this all right click on your check mark then now uh, make sure that it aligns with this uh, first shape here that separates the background so after doing that go back to stroke and enable your stroke give it a white color stroke reduce it to just one you see that let's check or let's give it the stroke two and see yeah i think two is better so we're going to select this one also go to relative position and maintain the same stees so bring it here all right now we're going to go to layer select quickly go to layer let's select all of them and you know just shift it a bit to the left so that we can have enough space for our text here on the right so the next thing we are going to do is to bring in another awesome element so i'm going to click on my import So we have this uh, element here. I got it from Pinterest though. And um, what we're going to do is to work on the element. I'm going to first of all go to my eraser and try to erase a section of this, the sharp edge. So we're going to uh, erase it. So try erasing it neatly. Make sure it doesn't touch the white part. Now you can zoom in. You can click here to zoom in and uh, erase it well. So zoom in as much as you can, then reduce the size of your eraser and increase the length of your eraser. So let's check. Yeah, so that's, that's that. Now I'm going to reduce it and uh, go to color filters filter the color to let's say something that is close to orange so 49 51 percent is good for that and uh, we are done with that element so you can just position it there you know to make it look as though it is attached on the shape behind right so make it look like a wall frame all right good so that's that okay good so after doing this let's go and import uh this image so i have this and uh, what i'm going to do is to increase it in size so after increasing it in size go to relative to a 3d rotate let's rotate it along the y-axis then we'll bring it here all right so um I'm going to maintain the same black and white color gradient by clicking on color filters, reducing saturation completely to minus 100. Now, if you're following up to this point, just like the video and drop a comment, like I said, telling us where you're watching from. So I want to send this one a bit, you know, to, yeah. So let's leave it like that. And uh, now we're going to lock it up. So let's lock that up now after doing this go to your text and write happy so um i'm going to use color picker let's pick the same orange color font so um we're using this color orange but you can pick it from the background all right you can pick it from the background like this just like i told you guys so go to your fonts and the name of the fonts i'm using is called autograph now i hope you can see how uh, and the kind of fonts that i'm using so please stop asking in the comment section which font do you use which fonts do you use rather i will encourage you to watch the video very well always so you understand the kind of fonts i'm using for the tutorial all right so we are going to shift this image a little bit downwards all right 
get so so that this text also can you know shift downwards also then uh, let's adjust so it's all about adjusting until you get the right result so we have happy I'm going to go back to my text and write birthday and the font I'm using for this is called uh, lemon milk regular so the name of the second font we're using is lemon milk regular right um, keep watching the video to see how we are doing all of this so go to your color use the black color okay so I hope you can see how it flows then uh, let's bring this text to the margin let's respect the same alignment option here and um, after achieving this so we can still do some little adjustment here so let's push these two shapes uh, these two elements a little bit upward okay now go back to text and write the birthday wish so we're going to write wishing you yet another beautiful So this is our wish, wishing you yet another beautiful birthday, age like fine wine and excel, and excel, okay. I hope this, this is just a casual kind of message. So we're doing this just for the purpose of this video, maintaining the color to black and um, yeah. So let's break this into three beautiful lines and position it here. Now after realizing this, it will be good for us to change the font to Roxford Sands Light, all right? Roxford Sands Light, I think it's better. So I'm going to reduce the line spacing, all right? And make sure that it's also very much aligned. Make sure that it is aligned, very important. Now, after you must have achieved this, I think we can shift all the text a little bit upward, all right? So we can have some good space in here. Or let's send it downwards okay so we have something like this good now uh, this is just for balance to maintain the principle of balance now I'm going to go back to my shape select a simple square shape you know make it a little bit rounded like this all right then you are good to go now go to crop we want to create a shape so this is one of the easiest way you can create some nice really good shapes on the pixel app so I have something like this you're going to see how this shape is looking like so can you see that these are very simple awesome hacks that you get when you follow us regularly right good so um we're going to bring this here but it's obvious we're going to change the color so in order to maintain the same color scheme we are going to go with this uh, kind of orange but a darker shade of orange let's reduce the size keep reducing the size this is just um, this is just to make the background busy and you know to give the work some uh, creative touch so bring it down here now we're going to rotate it right rotate it neatly so we are rotating it using 3d rotate so rotate y axis and also x axis so rotate everything by 180 degrees now make a copy of this bring it here so we are going to undo the rotation by the way so undo the rotation and you have this now we are going to change the color to black into black and uh, you know bring it try to bring them a little bit closer to each other 
right okay now we're going to shift it downwards like so then go to shape select a simple circle change the color to pure black let's reduce the size to something like this If you guess that we are going to write the date here then you might just be correct but we're just going to write plus one so i'm making a copy of this and writing plus one and um yeah let's increase the size and see something so let's increase the size change the color to white since it's going to sit on that shape now reduce the size and make sure it fits well into the shape so let's reduce the size further and we're going to bold this text so in order to bold it up you just need to click on styles and you click on this letter B which is bold which stands for bold all right okay um after achieving that i think we can even change the font so let's go for a more more bold font let's say a nexa let's check nexa yeah or nexa bold or nexa heavy i think is better all right so increase the size So I have plus one now uh, when you realize all of these uh, it will make some sense if we can bring some shape here okay, we can bring a shape here so I'm bringing this shape here give it the orange the dark orange shade but then reduce the opacity to just 50 percent then you use your relative position to position it on the middle and uh, we're going to copy this text since we want to maintain the same font and write the name of the birthday uh, the guy celebrating his birthday so it's Amos and uh, it will do justice if we can you know use a brighter color for this text so we are going with white so maintain that same uh, color flow to make sure it's uh, white all right so yeah that is it for the design guys what you need to do now is to save your work then like the video drop a comment telling us where you're watching from all right now for all the resources i've used for this video you can get it on the link attached in the video description thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel i will be hoping to see you in the next uh, tutorial check all resources attached on the link in the video description until then keep watching and stay blessed it's dance graphics